slowly making our way down to the bigger civilization here. We're on the four lane divided highway now. This is Highway 43, 12 kilometers or eight miles or so from uh, Highway 16, Trans Canada. So I'm gonna try to get loaded today yet, but the load isn't ready yet. It's originally scheduled to be loaded tomorrow. We're gonna see if we can get loaded a day early. Uh, but it's probably gonna be tomorrow, that's what I'm thinking. So sometime tomorrow, uh, we'll get loaded. We have a lot of time to get there. It's 3,500 kilometers. Uh, that's three and a half days of driving. Uh, for miles, that would be what? 18, about 2,000 miles, I'm thinking. A little over 2,000 miles. 2200 maybe somewhere in there and uh we'll have well tomorrow's friday when i'm filming so friday saturday sunday monday tuesday we'll have five days to get down there we're gonna get down there as fast as we can because uh i want to reset while i'm down there so i'll be pretty much out of my 70 hours i, I think i explained this this morning already right let me get down there as fast as we can and we'll be hanging out in mississippi or somewhere close by there Corinth, Mississippi is just barely over the border from, uh, is it Tennessee? Is Tennessee the one that's right above it? I think so, right? Because it's close to the Memphis area. I think it's, yeah, Tennessee and then Mississippi, right? I don't know, we'll be staying somewhere around there for my reset, just hanging out and uh, twiddling our thumbs for a day. But at least that way I'll have a full week ahead of me, right? I'll have a full 70 hours to uh, get done whatever they need me to get done. They may send me up the East Coast, up to Nova Scotia, Newfoundland, uh, New Brunswick, somewhere in there. Maybe into Ontario. Maybe back home. I have no idea. It's the adventures of being a truck driver, you know? Every day is a new day. Every day is a new adventure. You never quite know what's going to, uh, what's going to come up next week. Where you're going to be. We have a big playground. This whole continent. Well, the biggest part of this continent. You, you know what I mean. To me, in my mind, Canada and the United States, that's North America. Everything else is Central America and South America. But I know that's not technically correct. But it's just my mind. It's the way I see it. So we have all of North America. Just wandering around, bringing stuff from here to over there. You go for a walk without me, man? Hold on, Diesel. I'll be right back. Just gonna go grab a coffee, okay? Should I bring you one? You want a coffee? Only if it's your chimneys, man. Double, double, please. Oh, so we're here in Edmonton. The Esso, across from Flying J uh, Truck Truckland, West Edmonton. And as you may have figured, the load's not ready today. That's okay, because it was only scheduled to be picked up tomorrow, anyways. So. Technically, I'm early and they're on time. They're not late. So like I've said before, this Esso doesn't charge us to park here, so I give them my business. Flying J across the street. I don't know if they enforce it or not, but they have signs up saying they want us to pay to park there when there's a free parking lot right across the street. Yet people still fill that parking lot up because it's a Flying J, right? It's one of the best. That they don't realize and there's free parking here chevron but you have to be a customer to park in these lots so maybe that's why i mean my dad's been chased out of this lot before because he's not a customer of chevron i think it was this lot he was talking about. it might have been a different one asked him if he had bought fuel there and he said no so they said you have to leave people are getting a little picky with their parking it's a little bit annoying they don't realize that uh, we have nowhere else to go. If you if you shut down all your parking lots, like we can't be customers of everybody, and we only have so much fuel that we need to buy. Looks like these guys could use a new mower. Yikes! That is very uneven cuts. I'm not gonna lie, it makes me want to go home and mow the lawn. With my new mower. Good day everybody from near and far, wherever you are, how's it going? We're here in Edmonton, Alberta today. We just loaded up our trailer with stuff. And that stuff's going down to Mississippi. We're making a stop at home on the way. 
and we'll get down there early enough to get a reset down there yet so that I'm good to go for another full week as soon as I deliver my freight and that'll be on Wednesday I believe so we got a lot of miles ahead of us better get going I'm just here at the Flying J just grabbed some fuel we go inside grab some coffee and we're gonna hit the road I got myself some cauliflower bites from inside I'm really excited they're like deep fried cauliflower I know, weird, right? Just clean my window, but I can never quite clean these windows without getting streaks on them, you know? There we go. Oh, tailgate party. Look at that. Why not, right? Okay, so we are uh, all about 14 hours from home. This is an exit. Yep, that's an exit. There you go. I'm not going to get home tonight yet, but we should get pretty close. I want to run pretty late. Because I'm thinking I'm probably not going to be home very long. If I have the hours to get down to Mississippi, that's where I want to reset. But if I don't, well, then I'm going to reset at home. It's just then when I get down there, I'm already, you know, half done the week and I can only go so far. Broadmore Boulevard and then take the entrance to the right into 170 meters. Well, the scale's open today, leaving Edmonton. I actually have no idea how heavy I am. But I know I'm not overweight. Just by looking at my gauges. It shows me how much air pressure is in my suspension. And that can tell me approximately how heavy I am. I know I'm definitely not overweight. We're making everybody stop here, so somebody up there is very interesting to them. I hope I am very uninteresting. I hope they just look me over and say, that's a boring guy, let's let him go. There's no reason to bring him inside. He looks very boring. Okay, Diesel, look as boring as possible, okay? All right? We don't want them to call us in. Not that it would matter, I got nothing to hide. Just clarifying. I just want to go home. Oh, this guy's just creeping. Just creeping. All right, now I can actually see how heavy I am. They weigh in kilograms up here in Canada. So you take a kilogram, you times it two, by 2.2, 2, and that's approximately a pound. All right, here we go. So our steer axles are... About 5,050 kilograms. We're at just under 14,000 kilograms on the drives. And the trailer is at about 13.5. Good, so we're legal for the United States as well. We're probably sitting at about 65,000 pounds gross or 70,000, somewhere in there. Probably 70,000. Just a rough guesstimate. But they didn't call us in, so let's get out of here before they change their mind. Good job, Diesel. Nice, boring face. Very nice. Sometimes I wish this truck could go just a little bit faster. This thing is limited to 101 kilometers an hour, so if you're stuck behind me, I apologize. It's not my fault. That is the policy. 101 kilometers an hour. I don't know why 101 and not just 100. I think they're going with an even 60 miles an hour because these trucks are made in the U.S., so uh, their systems, you have to program their systems in in miles an hour. I'm guessing. I have no idea if that's true or not, but... I thought 60 miles an hour was 102, so again, I don't know why 101, but here we are, living the dream. Getting close to North Battleford, Saskatchewan. I'm trying to get as close to home as I can. I've got 8 hours and 14 minutes available to me yet to drive today, and I've got 1,004 kilometers to go. It's just over 600 miles. Not gonna make it. Not gonna make it. I need about 10 hours of driving minimum to get there. So we'll get close. I'm going to drive as late as I can until I get tired and figure it out from there. 
but we'll be home tomorrow for the evening and then I'll probably continue on down later in the evening. I'll probably stop at home in the afternoon. I hear the lawn has grown quite a bit. We had quite a bit of rain and it's gonna be a sunny day tomorrow, so <laughs> you know what I'm gonna be doing. I'm gonna go mow the lawn. I'm, I'm actually looking forward to it. I'm gonna go mow the lawn tomorrow and then in the evening, I'll spend the evening with Brett and the dogs at home. And then I'll jump back in the truck and uh, start making my way to Mississippi because I want to reset down there, if at all possible. I still got to double check with my hours here to make sure that I can get there on my 70 in eight days. The US is a little different that way, but if I can get there, yeah. Because then I, like I said, I, it's, it makes more sense. Because if I reset at home and then I drive down there while well, I lose, what's what, 25 hours of driving? That 25 hours comes out of next week. I'd rather take it out of this week. I'm not a big fan of the 70 hour rule though. I understand the daily hours of service rules. Yeah, limit how much I can drive in a day. I understand that, you know, then I can't get pushed to drive further than I should. And I, I won't drive further than I should if I want to, right? But at the end of the day, like, or at the end of the week, why do I have to take a weekend? Well, I'll take one when I want to. But if I want to work, why make it illegal? Not a fan of the 70 hour rule, not at all. I don't think it, as long as you get a good sleep every night, it shouldn't matter, it shouldn't matter. If you wanna work, let them work. We're nearby Davidson, Saskatchewan here. I actually thought I'd be more tired than I am right now. I didn't sleep that well last night for some reason. I kept waking up, it was a little uncomfortable, I had a bit of a sore neck. But maybe I hit like my second wind or something. I'm feeling fine, I got Five and a half hours left on my clock. Looks like I'm definitely gonna make it past Balgoni. I might even make it to Mooseman. Maybe even Brandon. I could legally make it to Brandon if I could, if I could drive that late. Time is what, 8.30 p.m.? Uh, this is mountain time. So it's 9.30 back home, once we cross into Manitoba. And the bugs have been doing their thing. You know, it's gonna be the same until the snow falls, so. I'll take bugs over snow, any day. I was thinking of stopping here at the Flying J for a coffee, but I'm feeling pretty good actually. I don't think I need a coffee. I'm just gonna keep on rolling. What do you think, Diesel? Feeling good too, man? Rolling up to Chamberlain, the town I froze up in once. <laughs> How many years ago was that already? I was in another Peterbilt then. I was a Peterbilt 386, I think. It was the first time I ever uh, learned about how diesel fuel can gel when it is minus 62 outside. It's a little warmer today, thank God. We're rolling into the sound. I'm just gonna take a little break. I'm gonna let the weasel out, stretch his little weasel legs. I'm gonna put some food in his little weasel bowl. And then we're gonna keep going. I got uh, four hours, 52 minutes available to me tonight yet, and I'm still feeling good. Oh, we'll keep on rolling. So they got this big rest area. This GPS actually de deems this a rest area. I thought it was just, oh yeah, look, it says truck parking area. I always just thought it was just a, a, a gravel parking, a random gravel parking lot. Apparently it is an official diesel, an official truck parking lot. Wow. Oh, and they even fixed a lot of the potholes. Well, that's nice. Very nice. Oh wow, they fixed them all. Diesel, someone put some effort and money into this for us. Wow, at least they put the gravel in the parking lot this time and not on the highway. So my truck was parked right in here, right by this pole here when I froze up and I stayed in that hotel there. And it is not pet friendly, but since it was minus 60 outside and I had nowhere else to go, they let the weasel stay. You remember that Diesel? A long time ago, man. That's probably what, six years, six, seven years ago, maybe more. Eight years? It's a long time ago. Time just keeps flying by, eh? Time does not slow down, that's one thing I'm learning. Time actually speeds up, so you young people, you think it's taking forever to grow up? Believe me, once you grow up, it goes by so quick. Time goes by so fast. It's so hard to get anything done because time just doesn't stop. Well, you did pretty good, Diesel. 
He didn't finish all of it, but you finished most of it. I think his teeth are getting a little bit old and uh, he's having a hard time chewing dry food, I think, because he refuses to eat it dry, but if I soak it and make it a little soft, he gobbles it all down right away, so. I think there is a vet visit in his future. Gotta get his teeth checked out. He's gonna be nine years old in uh, August this year, so he's about eight and a half, eight and three quarter right now. So it's about that time. I'm just gonna see if there's something that's bothering his mouth, or maybe he's just getting picky. clean I like it so many bugs it means it's so warm outside how far away are we proceed to the highlighted route indeed Karen thanks three and a half hours to go cool and then we go home for a couple of hours and then I gotta head back to the truck and go start on my way down to Mississippi So, the more time we sit around here doing nothing, twiddling our thumbs, the less time we have to ride our riding mower at home. Woo! So let's hurry, I wanna go mow the lawn. What? Stop dinging at me, everything's always dinging at me. Oh. Make sure I mark that in there, I did the pre-trip. Okay, so, uh. We're nearing the end of the vlog. I only got a few more hours on today's video, so I'm going to uh, uh, include that in yesterday. So tomorrow's video, you get it. You get it, it's the next day right now. And this is where we slept. We slept at the uh, Manitoba rest area at the Saskatchewan border. It's time to get going. I wanna go home, let's make sure our trailer's not gonna fall off. Oh, there it is. There it is. Good. Don't want that to fall off. Make sure the brakes aren't releasing. Tires are turning. Give a little turn this way so I can see those tires. Those tires are turning. Okay. There we go. Back to work we go. Hi ho, hi ho, I think that goes the other way around. We're only going to make one stop between here and home. I'll let you guess where that will be. What? Where do you think we're gonna stop? We're here in uh, St. Agath, Manitoba. Look at all these trucks nosed in. Everyone on this side's nosed in, and look at this side. It's empty, but what if it fills up with trucks? 
How are you gonna get out of your spot? You can't. What? You could have just backed straight up into those empty spots on the left. <laughs> okay. So I went home, I was able to get the lawn mowed. It was very nice. Hug and kiss the wife. Watch part of a movie. Ate a delicious supper, chili. It was great. Uh, so now I'm just gonna see how far I can get in. I wanna get it a little ways into the US, call it a night, and we'll continue on down to Mississippi tomorrow. So that's it for today, everybody made it to uh, Barney's here in Latalie and uh, it was quite a long day but we did get the whole lawn mowed at home oh excuse me still waking up got the lawn mowed at home and now we got two full days to get us down to Mississippi so uh, we're gonna head on down there keeping our head down the whole way I'm trying to slip down there without being noticed for the most part try to avoid all the chaos in the cities and uh, unload down there, grab something else, and come on back north. So thanks for joining me today. A little bit of a sporadic vlog again, but they happen. I would give you a little bit more footage outside, but it's been extremely windy the last couple of days, and I can't get any good footage outside right now or any good audio. So we'll see what happens tomorrow. Tune in and find out.